Celebrities are denouncing veganism en masse to market for plant-based gruels falling off a cliff. It's increasingly likely that the rest of the world agrees with me, which is often what happens with issues. Infamous activist Tash Peterson, better known as Vegan Booty, is on a mission to change people's minds by all means necessary. So is veganism here to stay? or as dead as a steak on my plate later this evening. I'm joined by Vegan Booty, Tash Peterson, and Outkick host and Fox commentator, Tommy Larian. All right, would you go by the name Vegan or Vegan, Miss, Bo Miss Booty or what? Tash Peterson is fine. Tash. Yes. Veganism's going out of fashion. Meatless Farm announced their ending production. Beyond Meat shares crashed 95%. Uh, most vegan companies in this country, lack of consumer demand now. I think people have got a bit fed up with it. I think one of the reasons is they're fed up with being shouted at. You, you're one of these people that runs into restaurants and plays you know, sounds from screaming animals and abattoirs and so on. I know you care passionately about it. I think it's very off-putting. It's a bit like the Just Stop Oil protesters doing a lot of their stuff. It just annoys people. It has the opposite effect to what you hope. No, I don't think so at all. I think it brings more attention to the animal holocaust. Animals are subjected to rape, torture, enslavement, abuse and murder, and I'm bringing light to that, and I'm seeing why would you use the word? Okay, why vegan. use the word holocaust? Holocaust is the mass extermination of more than six million Jewish people by Adolf Hitler and the Nazis. Well, that why would is you, one holocaust in history. Why would you, why would you evoke... Well, people know that as the holocaust. Why would you yeah. use that kind of very emotive language, knowing it would offend a lot of people? Well, it's just a factual statement. If you look at the definition of a holocaust, it is slaughter or destruction on a mass scale. Multiple mm. holocausts have occurred throughout human history and non-human animals can be subjected to the same atrocities that humans can. In fact, it's the largest holocaust in history with three trillion individuals brutally murdered every year for human food consumption. All right, Tommy, you're from a ranching family. Uh, I don't know about you, I just find... I don't mind people being vegan. If you don't want to eat meat, it's absolutely fine. And I get some of the reasons why they don't want to. Personal choice, you know, they care about animals and so on. Although I would point out animals eat a lot of animals, just for the record, naturally. Um, what do you feel about this whole vegan debate? Are we getting bored with it? It seems to me from all the sales in the UK and stuff, it's kind of going out of fashion. Like, it was a fad for a lot of people. They've gone back to munching meat. Well, veganism is an ethical... Oh, I'm, right, so I'm I think asking a Tommy, sorry. Yeah, I think a lot of people realize that it wasn't, in fact, the healthier choice because when they choose this Beyond Meat or these other substitutes, it's actually just packed with different fillers. So it's not actually this cleaner option like a lot of people thought at the onset of the whole vegan craze. But I got to tell you, speaking of the animal holocaust, which I think is a ridiculous thing to say, I'm from a ranching family. I'm from a ranching state. There's nobody that cares more for their animals than those in the ranching and farming communities. Now, I'm against factory ranching and farming as well, by by the way, I think that that's atrocious. I'm an animal lover. But as somebody who comes from a ranching family, I can tell you that ranchers and farmers care for their livestock dearly. Yes, it does, at the end of the day, turn into a product for human consumption. But that doesn't mean that it is always inhumane, that it's always disgusting, that it's this animal holocaust or genocide, as your guest was referring to it as. It's also really annoying to me when people try to say that animals are causing climate change. I mean, if you don't want to eat animals because you love animals or you have a health reason that prevents you from eating animals, that's fine. But this whole environmental craze that we need to get rid of animals because they're causing climate change, that's also a step too far and part of the reason why this whole vegan craze is going out the window. Yeah, and, you know, Bear Grylls said recently, I was a vegan quite a few years. Uh, he said, but I thought it was good for the environment, I thought it was good for my health. And through time and experience and knowledge and study, I realised I was wrong on both counts. It was bad for the environment, bad for his health. He was never a vegan in the first place. Veganism is an ethical view against he wrote a animal vegan abuse cookbook. and murder. If you're against animal abuse and murder, you never contribute it to it again. He wrote a vegan cookbook. It wasn't actually a vegan cookbook. It contained animal abuse and so murder. You're saying products. Bear Grylls was a fake vegan? He never was a vegan. He was a vegan? No, absolutely. You're saying he's a liar. He's not a liar. No, well, I've looked at the cookbook. You may, and not, there were have animal liked, products you may not have liked the fact that he went back to eating meat, but he was a vegan for quite a while. Well, he, people he go really... by that label all the time, but if they actually truly hold their ethical view against mm. animal abuse and murder, then they would never turn back on veganism. You know, Tommy, over here, I railed against uh, uh, vegan sausage rolls. I didn't like the way they appropriated the language of meat products. I don't think vegan companies should be allowed to use words like sausage rolls or steaks, because that's meat. 
Yeah, exactly. And they're filled with soy and fillers and other disgusting things that you actually don't want to put into your body. And meat tastes good. That's why all of these fake meat companies try to make it taste like meat. It never actually comes to fruition because it still tastes like crap. And I would also point out during COVID when we were having shortages in the grocery store, if you looked for meat, it was sometimes hard to find, at least here in the U.S. But that Beyond Meat crap, that was always available because people yeah. don't want it. The consumers are deciding that they want maybe in organic option, maybe a free range option, but people still want to eat meat. And you can eat meat and respect animals at the same time. It yep. can be done. It's been done since the dawn of time. But we are beyond, beyond meat now. We're going back to munching meat. I love meat. I won't be persuaded otherwise. And I think there are better tactics than running into restaurants and playing noises of screaming animals, personally. But thank you for coming on the program. Uh, Tash, and thank you to Tommy, as always. Whatever you're up to, keep it uncensored.